Hi everyone, this is Kristen, and today I'm here with a magnetic mounting system by a company called Unity. This is their case and cradle system, and it's really quite interesting as long as you're not into wireless charging. If you are a fan of wireless charging, then this is not going to work very well for you because the placement of the magnets makes wireless charging not work. However, if you're not into wireless charging or you use a device that doesn't support wireless charging, then this is definitely something you might want to take a little closer look at. So let's look at this in a bit more detail. We're going to look at it on iPhone 10 as well as iPhone 7 Plus. Taking a closer look at the components of the Unity system, we have the cradle and the case. So the cradle is magnetic tipped, and then on the bottom we have a very strong suction cup system, which is going to adhere really well onto any hard flat surface, and then you're going to be able to mount your phone here on this magnetic ball on the top. The case itself is a dual layer case. We've got an outer plastic layer here and an inner TPU. You can take the two sides apart, the two pieces apart, which I would recommend in terms of um, installing your phone. I think it works better that way. So let's look at this in both its component pieces. So the inner TPU is actually really pretty robust. A lot of times with two-piece cases, the TPU liner is flimsy. That's not the case here. This is actually quite a thick TPU and has a nice sturdy feel to it. The outer plastic part I'm less thrilled with. It's quite thin, which I guess definitely helps with weight. However, I do worry about how this is going to wear over time. This does feel a little flimsy in places. We've got a magnet here on the back. It's obviously well away from your phone, so it's not going to scratch anything because, of course, you've got that TPU in the way here protecting your phone, so that is good. On the exterior, you've got a smooth, soft, rubbery lining over the magnet here on this side, which is nice. And overall, I think it's kind of a cute design that they have here. Putting this on your phone, I think, is best done as a two-part process, so the TPU is quite easy to slide on your phone and then you can slide the outer case on so you don't need to worry about scratching anything. So sliding this on, you can see we just sort of press everything into place. Looking at the fit of the case on my iPhone 10, we have a nice tight fit on the sides as well as the top and the bottom. A little bit of give on the bottom, but really not very much. The fit is quite good. However, one thing which doesn't fit terribly well on here, I noticed when I put it on, is that once you put the plastic shell on top of the TPU, there's still just a little bit of a gap here where it looks like it should fit tighter, but it doesn't. Really don't know quite what's going on there, but you can see there's just a little bit of a gap there and a little bit of a gap here as well in between the plastic shell and the TPU. So fitment wise, we do have a few issues there. So looking at the amount of lip we have on here, the lip is actually quite protective, should be nicely protective for your screen. This does fit well with the tempered glass screen protector that is case compatible. Right now I have the one that the Apple Store installed on my iPhone 10. It's the Belkin Invisiglass, but uh, uh, this should fit with many case compatible screen protectors and in fact one does come bundled with this as far as I could tell from the website of the company. This is not the one that I have on here as I mentioned this is the Belkin Invisiglass but they do bundle one now apparently with this product so tempered glass screen protector does come with this which is nice. So looking down here at your port openings these are nicely protective and reasonably generous you should be able to fit some third party lightning cables here here without a problem going around to the sides again that mention with the fit really not too crazy about that although it seems to stay on okay but it seems like it should be fitting better buttons are good nice and clicky no issues and our mute switch opening is okay but a little bit on the small side Going over here to our side button, again, nice, reasonably clicky, no problems. Going to the back of the case, so this has an interesting look and feel to it with all those swirls on it. Um, the fact that you do have these ridges on here does give this a little bit more grip than it otherwise would. The material is kind of neither slippery nor grippy, really. This plastic, it's a hard plastic, has... Um, 
kind of a mid feeling. I would never say that this is a grippy case, but I don't feel that it's overly slippery either. And as I said, I do think that the ridges do help you hold onto it just a bit better. This bit here in the middle that covers our magnet is rubber covered. That's kind of a nice touch that's actually not present on the case for the 7 plus and 8 plus, but it is on the 10 and I think it just has a classier look to it. Got a little bit of branding down here for the company that makes the Unity and that's pretty much all you can see here on the back. Of course, sadly, no wireless charging with this case at all. Absolutely impossible because of the magnet. Plenty of protection here for the protruding camera, no issues there, and that's basically about all you can say about the case. Using the cradle system that comes bundled with this package is easy and fun. Simply just take your phone and attach it. No problem. Um, there's not a whole lot going on here. It's simply you've got the magnet that's on the back of the phone case and then this is a metal ball and then it allows you to rotate it. You can change your angle, you can go portrait, you can go landscape, you can basically do anything that you want. Everything works really well and it's really quite stable. Now I'm holding on to it. You probably noticed that's because this has a suction cup and needs to be on a hard flat surface. This is a fabric surface that I have it on right now so it won't attach but I will show you how it attaches on a hard surface afterwards. But overall this is really quite nice. Works um, very nice and securely here with a smaller iPhone 10 but also if you have a larger phone like the plus size phones also works very very securely with that. Removing it of course is really pretty easy. Simply just pull it off and you're good to go. The second mounting option that comes with this system is simply an adhesive disc. You've got a 3M adhesive on the one side and then the other side is simply metal. You can attach this to some non-metallic surface that you wish to be able to attach this case to and then you can mount it like that. So very nice, very strong, seems to work really really well. In order to remove this case from your phone, simply start in one corner and pull it off. It can be a little tricky to get that first corner going, but then everything goes off really pretty easily, and then you're good there, and then you just need to pry off your TPU, which of course is easy. No problems there. Looking at the iPhone 7 Plus 8 Plus version of this case, it's basically the same idea. We have a TPU lining, and then the outer case is a hard plastic. Um, has basically the same kind of design on here. One difference is that the section here for the magnet on the back is not covered with rubber. It's just metal, so this makes a bit more of a click when it's going on the mounting system, but other than that, it seems to have the same utility. Putting your phone in here is a little bit easier on the 8 Plus than on the iPhone 10, and I'm able actually to do this in a one single operation rather than two pieces, which is nice. Looking at the fit of this case on my iPhone 7 Plus, we have a nice tight fit on the sides, a little bit of give over here in the volume up and down buttons, but not too bad, and then nice tight fit at the top and good fit at the bottom as well. One thing which is nice about this version is that the uh, TPU and the outer plastic seem to mesh a little bit better than they do on the iPhone 10 version. I don't see the gaps that I saw with that. I think in general most iPhone uh, 8 plus 7 plus cases are a little bit more refined uh, than versions for the iPhone 10 just because they've had a lot longer to work with that form factor so that may be part of it and it's also possible the iPhone 10 case has improved since they sent me out my review sample. But anyway, so looking at it, so fit wise, nice tight fit, no issues there. We have a good amount of protective lip here around your screen. That's all good. I have a tempered glass screen protector in place. If I did not, then you would have more visible lip. Good news is, of course, just as with the iPhone 10 version, they do bundle a tempered glass screen protector in here. So you get one to put on your phone, although this is not it. This is, I think, you know, Otterbox Alpha Glass on here, if I remember correctly. So looking down here at our port openings, they are nicely positioned, should be reasonably generous, should uh, not have huge issues in terms of third-party lightning cables, which is good. Going around to the sides, 
kind of like the other one. It's really neither grippy nor particularly slippery. Um, has a reasonably nice feel in the hand. Our volume up and down buttons uh, have a nice feel to them. They click reasonably well, although it's not really the same with the power button on the other side. And pretty small area again here for our mute switch. Going over here to the power button, this one has less click to it. Um, so just not quite as tactile as a volume up and down, not really sure why. Going to the back of the case, again, this is not covered with rubber as it is on the iPhone 10. This is just metal on here and actually um, got kind of a little movable disc down here. It kind of crinkles back and forth a little bit. Not really quite sure why this one moves and you don't really have that feature on the iPhone 10 version. So the back, you've got this kind of interesting layered circular thing going on here with the plastic. This does give it a little bit more grip than it otherwise would, although I would not say that it's particularly grippy. This material doesn't really show smears or fingerprints, which is good. Um, and of course, it does not support wireless charging, but then again, this is a 7 Plus, so you wouldn't be able to do wireless charging with it anyway. But if this were an 8 Plus in here, which would also fit the same, um, unfortunately, you would not be able to do wireless charging with that because of the magnet. So, got plenty of protection here for your protruding camera, no issues there. And overall, it's a reasonably nice case in the hand. One thing that I did notice on my review sample is that the TPU has really yellowed rather unpleasantly on the one side and interestingly not on the other side. Not really sure what's going on with that, but do not despair because I think they realized that they might have had an issue with this particular sort of TPU. I noticed that the white cases that they have on their website have a distinctly uh, different colored TPU. I think it's more of a gray color. They're not trying to match the white anymore with a white or a cream. So it actually looks quite a bit better in the cases on their website as opposed to this review sample that they sent me. The suction cup system that is used to secure the cradle into place is both strong and well designed. In order to use it, you first want to make sure that it's in the open position, which it is right now. You can see the suction cup is kind of loose and floppy. There's two positions. One of them is closed where it's twisted shut where as you can see it is close up against the body of the cradle or it's open. So once it's in the open position you need to press it down on a hard flat surface. Can't be a soft surface like a pillow or something like that. That won't work. Needs to be hard and then press it down and then turn it in order to lock it into place. Once locked into place, we've got a very tight, strong connection here. It's not going anywhere, and it's nice and strong. It's able to accommodate big phones, small phones, absolutely no issue there. So putting your iPhone 7 Plus on here, you can see you've got landscape. You can move it into portrait. You can change your angle. Everything works really well. feels extremely secure. This is a really strong magnet. works really well. So this is a very nice feature of this system. You can rotate it all the way around, looking at it at the back, really quite nice. Absolutely no issues in terms of operation. However, when you're ready to remove it from the cradle, simply twist it to the side and it comes off quite easily. So no issues there. Overall, I think the Unity case systems are a reasonably good choice if you are not interested in using wireless charging or you have a phone that doesn't support it and you really like magnetic mounting systems. The magnetic mounting part of this works really well. The case itself is okay, although material-wise, I'm a little bit concerned about the material on the outside. The plastic on the outside does seem a little bit on the flimsy side and there are a few fitment issues with the iPhone 10 version, but Overall, it's fine, and price-wise, with the mounting system and the case, it's coming in at 35 for the iPhone 7 Plus, 8 Plus, and 40 for the iPhone 10 version. So, price-wise, it's not bad, and these seem like perfectly fine cases if you're really into magnetic mounting. So, definitely something to consider for your iPhone 10 or iPhone 8 Plus, 7 Plus. Again, we've been looking at the Unity case and cradle system. The iPhone 10 version retails for $39.99. The iPhone 8 Plus and 7 Plus version retails for $34.99. I will put links below where you can find out more about these products. They both come with two magnetic mounting plates as well as the magnetic mounting cradle, the case, and a tempered glass screen protector. Color-wise, the iPhone 10 one comes in this red shown here as well as four other colors. We have blue, black, green, and white, whereas the iPhone 
iPhone 8 Plus and 7 Plus versions come in white, blue, and black. Many thanks to the kind folks at Unity for sending me out these samples to review. If you have any questions about these products, please feel free to put them in the comments below and I will do my best to address them. And if you are interested in subscribing to my channel, please hit that subscribe button because I have lots more great case reviews yet to come. Again, this is Kristen and this is the Unity Case and Cradle System for iPhone 10 and iPhone 8 Plus and 7 Plus. Have a wonderful day.